Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is Wednesday, February the 24th, and it's 9.39 a.m. I watched this video someone sent me. Let's see, I think it was Sister Tricia. Yes. I'm going to try to remember to give credit to those who find these videos and send them to me. Um, it's called The Blood of Jesus, and it's and it's on Tony Lamb's channel. Tony Lamb got this dream. And it was a very peculiar dream to him. I'm going to let you listen. It's, he only talks about it for uh, just a very short time. So I'm going to let you hear it. In my dreams of the tribulation, I saw babies and toddlers and young children. I thought, how could this be? As I thought all babies and children below the age of, account of, of accountability were raptured. And I, uh, I prayed on this, and I prayed very hard on this. Because it either meant that my dreams were in error, or they were not of God. And I prayed, and I prayed, because this was very important to me. And finally the Holy Spirit answered my prayer. And what the Holy Spirit told me was that not all children would be raptured because... They had their DNA changed. And I thought even the very young had their DNA changed. And God is a God of rules and laws that must be obeyed without exception. So I'll stop it there. Um, he This was put up the February 23rd. It already has 1,811 views. You know, this is it's really sad that even if this had nothing to do with spirituality they're opening this up now to volunteers I, I think I spoke of it the other day children of the age of six years old and up to uh, 16 or 18 <clears throat> and then yesterday I read something about, I think it was in the UK. They're looking for volunteers for opening it up to pregnant women and infants. And I was like, surely... This can't be. But then I remembered a week or two ago reading an article where a pregnant woman part took part in an experiment of the, um, you know, the V. And later that day she miscarried or it was maybe the next day or was however long it was, it was not long. She was in her uh, third trimester, and her baby died, and she miscarried, and she was a nurse. That's right. She did it because she wanted to support it and get all her nurses behind it. <laughs> that backfired. It's really not funny, but I'm telling you, people are not using their heads. They're more afraid of the illness than, than they are of what this could do. Because it, they just think of it as like the flu shot or any other that they get for their children. But do they not realize, and evidently no, they don't, um, that it's the CDC has come out and admitted that all those cases of COVID deaths were not caused by COVID. Now that's coming from the CDC. You can check it out. They said so many hundred were from congestive heart failure. So many hundred were actual heart attacks. So many, I'm talking about people who, who were exposed to COVID. 
so many hundred really died of whatever their underlying condition was. And some of them, they didn't even have an underlying condition. They hurt themselves. They, I know of this one guy who said his mother fell and hit her head. But I guess she'd been exposed to somebody who'd been exposed or something. And so they put it down. She tested negative in the autopsy. Yeah, she ended up dying. She ended up having a brain bleed and she died. And the whole time she was in the hospital, neither the brother that took her nor the other brother that was called and came in was allowed to see her. And that is so sad to me that these people that go into the hospital, if they put down... Well, it doesn't even matter. I don't think you're allowed... Well, I know he in the senior care facilities, if you're on uh, skilled nursing, which is like a nursing home, or if you're in assisted living, they're not allowed any visitors. We have a setup down on our patio where there's a plastic sheet it's like a big shower curtain, real thick. And they have a, some, a chair for the patient, a resident, they call them, to sit at. And family can sit on the other side of the sheet. They have a table, some chairs. And yesterday or the day before, they had a birthday party for someone. And I'm like, well, who gets the key? You know, who's going to take the cake and the presents around the curtain to give to the person? I'm just like, this is so dumb. It's not enough to put on a mask. Well, I shouldn't say it's dumb. I know they're taking precautions. Nobody wants their loved one to get sick and die. Okay, so anyway, back to this. He's talking about the laws of Jesus. And he equates it to the flood, the Noah's flood, Noah and the ark. And I got to wondering, he said that all the babies and children back then would have had their DNA changed. Well, we know the Nephilim were born when the daughters of men came down to the, I mean, sorry, sons of God came down to the daughters of men in other words fallen angels slept with human women the babies they created were Nephilim as they grew up they had children well they still had that fallen angel DNA in them so they were actually Nephilim also I don't know at what point the blood got thinned out enough to where they weren't considered Nephilim anymore. I don't know. But it could be that the flood destroyed them all. But it's hard for me to believe that there weren't any that actually believed in God and the creation and, and Adam and Eve and whatever um, stories were passed down to them. And they had pure blood, but they refused to listen to Noah when he said, you must come get in the ark. You know what I'm saying? And they laughed at him. Kind of like we're talking about the rapture, the first fruits rapture. And if you want to go, you've got to clean up your act and repent and love God most and give up your worldly ways and make him first and last and in between. 
and so on and so forth. And people are like, that's impossible to do. We're still human. We won't get that way till we get to heaven. And they don't try. Too many Christians believe that's impossible. We're human. We, we're only human. What, are you crazy? And so they'll be left behind. And then what will happen? They'll have to, they'll see that their children will be taken, babies even in utero, because they didn't want to believe and, and repent. They wanted to believe in once saved, always saved, or um, so, some other similar doctrines, like Calvinism, that you were, oh, what's the word they use? You were predestined to be saved, so of course you're saved. It doesn't matter what you do or say or think or repent of, you're saved. Well, that's not the way it it means you're predestined to go because the Lord knew you were going to give your life to him and act right and repent when you fall. So back to this. If you could talk one person, one person, into not going along with the crowd for the sake of their children. Don't go along with it for their babies. The babies... <sighs> I'm frustrated. I can't say what I want to say. And I hope you got my point already. I'm going to end it. I'm going to say God bless each and every one of you. And I pray that if you know anybody with a baby, young child, someone that's pregnant, maybe, maybe you can stop them. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video and pray that it stays up. I'll plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you. All of us, our devices, and our internet connections. With that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.